So all in this video we will see what is parasitic element in antenna. So this you can uh, read uh, in many number of articles that are available in uh, the website. First we will just try to give an introduction and see um, how they are used in antenna design. Suppose if you have a dipole antenna, let us take a simple dipole antenna. Okay, so in this dipole antenna, we'll have a feed right at the center. Correct. And then this feed will be given uh, from an RF source and uh, it gets radiated. Now, what we, uh, what happens in this case? the radiation uh, will be in different directions especially perpendicular to this antenna right now let us assume you want to radiate this in a specific direction like for example you want to radiate in this direction so what we do is we place uh, an another metal element okay in front of this antenna at a specific distance so we are not talking about uh, um, the actual calculation we are just giving a theoretical things here so we place an element okay such that the radiation is focused towards a uh, specific direction okay so this particular element that is there is nothing but uh, it's called a director right now let us assume there will be definitely some uh, energy that is being reflect uh, radiated towards this side right you want more energy to be focused in this direction that is the need right so you place another metal element here okay and uh, the energy reflects and be, and is being directed towards the desired antenna now what you see here simply is a aggie wood antenna right uh, the one which is used for our uh, telephony uh, for our uh, television programs right this basically is called parasitic cantina actually so you will have one more reflector here and one more director so and then the feed will be somewhere so if you see these elements okay which are introduced here are never connected to this uh, actual point the live point okay so these are called the <coughs> parasitic elements which help uh, antenna uh, to get its performance very very important right uh, so um, we always used to turn our antenna in different directions for tuning but we never thought of things which actually help uh, in uh, giving direction to the signals thereby increasing the gain of this particular antenna which is a very very important term right now in this uh, um, embedded world the current trends are to make these antennas as small as possible especially in the internet of things uh, applications where uh, uh, there are uh, uh, very very small circuits that are being embedded into uh, the smart devices um, you need uh, small patch antennas right so let us look at how um, parasitic uh, um, elements are introduced in such patch antennas now let us just look at some of the examples that are available from the internet so if you see here see this is a simple example of one um, patch antenna uh, the patch antenna is on a substrate 
okay and you can see the parasitic elements that are being introduced on this patch antenna okay this is the feed here and uh, <coughs> these patches are used to increase the gain now this is one more uh, um, <coughs> antenna design uh, and you can see here the feed network is here and the parasitic patch is here so this can we can definitely say that the intention of this parasitic patch is to reflect the signal more towards the other side so <clears throat> as uh, so if we go back if the length of the parasitic element is more than the center dipole in this case uh, that means there will be reflection when the length of this uh, uh, element is less than the, the, the center dipole that is there, uh, there will be more of directivity. Okay. So it will be like this. Okay. So just to, uh, the, the <coughs> drawing may not be accurate. So you can see here it will be like this. Okay. So that is how you uh, we tend to um, get the directivity. Now, let us see one more case of a patch antenna. Wow, this is one more simple case, right? So, what we can say by this parasitic element is, while this is one antenna, this is actually another antenna, we can say, right? Uh, which is never connected to the a feed pin this helps in achieving the directionality without actually having the signals right so if you see the coupling between these uh, is through air only right so <clears throat> now let us look at one of the um, articles from Murata to understand how uh, the patch elements are connected in these modern days to achieve um, the uh, gain in that particular antenna. So, Murata has this parasitic element coupling device. So, this is the device that you see here. Okay. So, the importance of this parasitic element is whenever we have antennas that are being used on our PCBs, you need as much bandwidth as possible, right? Higher the bandwidth the antenna supports um, for a given uh, gain, you are tended to select that particular antenna, right? Especially as we have more of these wireless applications like Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. Bluetooth, cellular and all these applications and especially uh, with Wi-Fi uh, extending its bandwidth, uh, we need a wider frequency um, <clears throat> operating antennas, right? That is where these parasitic uh, coupling devices uh, bring um, <clears throat> or uh, gain importance. Now, if you, if you can see here, this is the simplest way we can uh, actually represent this parasitic elements which are used on um, our designs. So you can see this is the parasitic element where um, there is uh, a, a one more uh, <coughs> patch that is there which acts as an antenna right and the parasitic element is going to couple the energy to that so that you get a wide bandwidth antenna. So we are not going to into the structure of this, this is just only for illustrative purposes. Now, this is the um, <coughs> representation, okay? So you can see here, um, there is one patch, there is another patch which is actually um, a <coughs> additional patch that is to this particular patch and you can see uh, we we are introducing a uh, the parasitic element here, okay, uh, and we are trying to couple the energy to this. So you can see uh, Murata has provided these values. So this is not uh, <coughs> uh, 
um, like uh, um, we are not going to talk about the improvements here, but uh, uh, you can go through this article. So you can see uh, a coupling mechanism is being introduced by this particular Murata device to the parasitic element such that um, the bandwidth is increased or indirectly we can say the performance of the antenna has increased. So this is where um, the parasitic element coupling devices which are being uh, uh, available in the market player also when you are designing an antenna with a parasitic element these coupling devices are important to achieve the required bandwidth. 